the great debate, Lake Wiley versus Lake Norman. Are you that sophisticated sociolite golfing at the Peninsula Club on Lake Norman? Or are you more of the Earnhardt cutoff t-shirt wearing power boater blasting CCR at the sandbar in Lake Wiley? Now, stereotypes aside, both lakes have their pluses and minuses, so let's flush them out a little bit, shall we? A little background on the lakes. In case you didn't know, Lake Wiley is the older of the two. It was created in 1904 by the Catawba Power Company by damming up the Catawba River. The lake then went by the name Catawba Lake until 1960 when the name was changed to Wiley in honor of the founder of the Catawba Power Company, W. Gill Wiley. Catawba Power actually went on to become Duke Power. Now, Lake Norman was created in the early 1960s by Duke by adding another dam to the Catawba River further north. The lake is actually used by three power plants, a hydroelectric plant, a coal plant, and a nuclear plant. It was named after the former president of Duke Power, Norman I guess that's why they use his first name. Lake Norman is more than double the size of Lake Wiley with 50 square miles of water compared to 21 square miles on Lake Wiley. And Lake Norman also has 533 miles of shoreline compared to Lake Wiley's 325 miles. Now I'm not going to bore you with the rest of the stats on all the lakes, but if you want to see more stats like how deep all the lakes are and several other things, check out my website. Uh, links are in the description. I'm going to have a whole guide on both these lakes in the description, so get more information there. So let's start with the towns and cities surrounding the lakes. Now this is an easy point for Lake Norman. It's obviously bigger. And it also has three fairly large cities or more towns close together. You have Huntersville, Cornelius, and Davidson, all within 30 minutes of each other in light traffic. Now this gives you three comparatively large towns with plenty of shopping, dining, and other activities that are relatively close together. And this doesn't even include the cute town of Denver that's on the western shore of Lake Norman. Now you don't have anything quite like that on Lake Wiley. Tika K is the main town on the lake, and it's rapidly growing with a small but new downtown area. But it doesn't compare to the size or have the amenities of any of the towns like I mentioned on Lake Norman. Lake Wiley is surrounded by suburbs and kind of lacks that city feel you get when you're on Lake Norman, which really could be a bonus depending on what you're actually looking for. The traffic can be really bad on 77 heading into Charlotte from Lake Norman but it's been improved quite a bit by the toll lanes if you're willing to pay for it. If you're coming to Charlotte from Tiga K, you'll need to cross the Buster Boyd Bridge, which can get really, really congested in high traffic hours, so pay attention to that. Something to keep in mind when looking at towns and activities around Lake Wiley, a new development called the River District is currently under construction. At the north end of the lake, you have to go up the Catawba River a little bit just to get there, but it's just a few miles west of the Charlotte Douglas Airport. It's going to be a 1,400-acre site that will feature a town center with walking distance residential housing, and they're going to try and fully integrate this kind of river, forest, walking type of feel or plan into the development. How this will pan out or when it will be completed is yet to be determined, but it's worth checking out their plan on their website. Links in the description again. Let's talk about dining, specifically on the water dining. With more cities around it, it shouldn't be a surprise. You'll have more options on Lake Norman. Not only does the larger lake offer more places to eat right on the water, but you also have more of an elevated dining experience. The Kindred family that owns the James Beard nominated restaurant of the same name in Davidson just opened a brand new waterside restaurant called Hello Sailor. You will also find waterside fine dining at the North Harbor Club and Port City Club. For the longest time on Lake Wiley, you really only had one restaurant that was accessible by water. That's called Papa Doc's and it offers rustic American cuisine. However, just about a mile north from Papa Doc's, the lake recently saw its first real fine dining experience open called Drift On, featuring signature cocktails and a surf and turf style menu. And I'm definitely looking forward to check this out. It's really close to my brother's place. Lake Wiley does have a bonus. The Whitewater Center is actually accessible by boat from Lake Wiley. And just a caveat, please keep an eye on your water levels as you make your way up there because it can get really shallow in there. But there is docking when you get there, and it's really just a quick walk up to the park. It gives you full access to great food, beer, zip lining, rafting, climbing, and so much more. The Whitewater Center is awesome. Let's talk a little bit more about parks. Again, I'm going to give the point to Lake Norman. Not only does it have larger parks, including Lake Norman State Park, but it also has more parks spread out around the shores of the lake. From Beatty's Ford Park on the western shore to Jetton Park and the State Park in the north, you have plenty of hiking trails, kayak and boat launches, splash parks, and playgrounds. In Lake Wiley, the biggest park is the McDowell Nature Preserve, with some great hiking trails along the shorelines. 
It's a massive 1,100 acre preserve with camping and RV hookups. Now, the primary goal of the McDowell Nature Preserve is education and they have a really awesome nature center that features live animals, a garden, and they also offer guided kayak and paddle tours. Now, Copperhead Island's kind of right off the shore of McDowell and it's basically like an addition. Um, if you're looking to camp, they have more RV hookups and camping sites there. It's a little 20 acre island just off the shore. Don't let the name fool you. You're actually probably more likely to see a copperhead in your backyard here in Charlotte than you are on that island. The island is accessible by road, so it makes it easy to get there if that's where you're gonna be camping. Further south on the lake, you're gonna find a plethora of parks and boat launches and hiking trails from Westminster Park to Wiley Dam Trail, Pecarin Park, and many others. But if you really want that kind of one wood nature feel, it's tough to beat the state park on Lake Norman. Okay, let's talk about overall boating experience. If you talk to boaters who spend time on both lakes, most will say Lake Norman gives you that really big lake style feel, whereas Lake Wiley feels more as if you're on a large river. Generally speaking, Lake Wiley is a quiet lake in terms of the number of boaters. That's changing rapidly. And adding to that, you find many coves and inlets that um, kind of afford you more privacy that you might not necessarily find as easily on Lake Norman. While the narrowness of Lake Wiley makes it a great place for peace and quiet, it can make it difficult for activities like tubing and wakeboarding as the channels can get really congested on busy weekends. Now, the openness of Lake Norman gives boaters a real opportunity to spread out for their activities. Lake Wiley does feature two popular sandbars that are very busy on summer weekends. It's a lot of fun if you're into hanging out with a bunch of people looking to enjoy sun and water. It can be a bit loud and raucous on really busy days, but overall it's a really good time. Lake Norman used to have an active sandbar right off the shore near Cornelius, but officials have stopped boaters from congregating there in recent years. Also, going back to Lake Wiley, just off the shore of Windjammer Park, there's a small island park called Sunset Island, and there's some sandy shores making it a popular hangout for boaters and paddlers. When it comes to public swimming, both lakes have two public access points, Ramsey Creek Park and Lake Norman State Park in Lake Norman, and Ebenezer Park and Windjammer Park on Lake Wiley. Windjammer Park is actually owned by the residents of TKK. They swim for free, but if you're not a resident, you have to buy a $100 yearly parking pass. No day passes that I could find anywhere. But you can actually rent the entire park for the day. It's a relatively small park, but it's really cute there on the shore. Ebenezer Park in Lake Wiley also has fees per individual. They just changed that from per car, uh, both for residents and non-residents, uh, with year passes available. Now there are no fees to swim at Lake Norman State Park, but Ramsey Creek does require a charge per vehicle. So unfortunately, I think the point's going to Lake Norman here again. Now if you are boating on either lake, you can swim anywhere, just please don't do it in the main channel of the lakes or any really busy area. Also, there are a lot of tempting coves and beaches all over both lakes. You'll see a ton of boaters setting up shop on these beaches, but this is private property, so try to be respectful and do it at your own risk. Now, if we're going to talk about swimming, I do need to bring something else up. Unfortunately, it stinks. It's sewage. Yeah, unfortunately, sewage breaks have been a problem for both lakes. Uh, considerably worse for Lake Wiley. Just last year, Lake Wiley had a sewage leak of 850,000 gallons. The most, recent sewage, the most recent sewage leak in Lake Norman saw about 2,700 gallons into the lake. This may seem like a lot of sewage, but for the size of the lakes, it really only has a very short term effect. For peace of mind, however, you can use the Swim Guide app that will tell you when the lakes are safe to swim in. The water is tested regularly and then updated to the app. And they do this really often, and I think it's a third party kind of neutral source that does it. So worth checking out if you're concerned. One last note to mention about Lake Wiley, it is downstream from Lake Norman and Mountain Island Lake. This means that everything from those lakes flows into Lake Wiley when the dams are open, and Lake Wiley also gets fed in from the South Fork River. So. After heavy rains, when the dams are open, it can cause a lot of debris and other things to wash into Lake Wiley. So you have to really be aware of large branches and other things that might be just submerged below the water when you're boating around. Just, just be careful and aware of that. So what about the cost of boating? Most of Lake Wiley falls into South Carolina. This can make a big difference in costs and taxes. I will be doing a closer look at the cost of living in North Carolina and South Carolina, but for now, here are a couple things to think about. Gas is generally cheaper in South Carolina, and any boater knows how much 10 to 20 cents per gallon can save you over the course of a summer. 
Also, sales tax, property tax, and registration are a little bit cheaper in South Carolina when it comes to buying and registering your boat and trailer. I have links with all the details for this information when it comes to taxes for boats, registrations, and titles on my website. So again, check out the links in the description down below. Okay, so what about actually buying a home on the lake? If we're looking at the average sales price, generally Lake Wiley is gonna be cheaper. Uh, it's a little bit skewed. We're looking at North Carolina and South Carolina when we're looking at Lake Wiley. And my recent search has pulled up about an average of 550,000 per home for the selling price in Lake Wiley. Lake Norman was about $100,000 higher. Lake Norman does have larger homes, more multi-million dollar listings than Wiley does. And that skews these numbers a little bit. If we narrow down the criteria and we look at something more common like a three bedroom, two bath home, there's really only about a 10 to $20,000 increase when you're looking at Lake Norman versus Lake Wiley. Now I hope to have more specific videos on each one of these cities and towns around Lake Wiley and Lake Norman. So keep an eye out for that. Subscribe, hit the notification button if you'd like to check them out. For right now, however, let me know which lake you prefer down in the comments below. And make sure to check out the links I have in my description for more details about swimming locations, boat launches, swim fees, and a whole host of other information about the lakes. I'm Ryan McGran and I'm a realtor here in Charlotte. If you have any questions about buying or selling in Charlotte, please feel free to reach out. My phone and email are pinned at the top comment down below. You can call me or text me anytime. I really look forward to talking with you. Take care.